reproduction in organisms what is reproduction reproduction is a biological process in which two or one parent cell give rise to a new individual i repeat reproduction is a biological process in which one or two parent give rise to two or more individuals now types of sexual reproduction types sorry types of reproduction reproduction are mainly classified into two types sexual and asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is much more simpler process than sexual reproduction what is asexual reproduction it is a type of reproduction in which single parent give rise to two or more identical progenies which can also be called clones clone now sexual reproduction it is a type of reproduction in which gametes are first produced these gametes carry haploid number of chromosomes that is half number of total chromosomes present in all other cells in an individual these gametes fuses to form progenies for example in human beings there are 46 chromosomes or it can be said 23 pairs of chromosomes in human beings there are 23 pairs of chromosomes so gametes male or female gametes in human beings contain 23 chromosomes not pair single okay these chromosomes or these gametes fuses to form new progenies which contain again 23 pairs of chromosome now detail discussion about asexual reproduction reproduction basically helps a species to survive and continue for a long period of time because one cell or one individual produces new progenies those progeny further grow and develop into mature individuals and they again undergo reproduction like this the cycle of living beings that is growth reproduction death and again growth reproduction death keeps on keeps on years after years okay now asexual reproduction in this type of reproduction no gametes are produced as we have seen a single parent cell can give rise to two or more progenies now what are the types of asexual reproduction types number 1 binary fission this type of asexual reproduction is observed in amoeba and you can see the image also this is the image showing asexual reproduction or better to say binary fission in amoeba okay so what happens as we can see the nucleus first it becomes larger then it undergoes division 
or we can say DNA replication takes place so the nucleus divides into two pieces then the cytoplasm of the cell divides here the cytoplasm of the cell divides now one parent cell gives rise to two identical in two identical progenies which are equal in size and also shape genetic material we can say clones so binary fission is a type of asexual reproduction in which one parent organism or cell gives rise to gives rise to two identical cells for example binary fission in amoeba now let's move on in the next page we can see budding that is found in most common in yeast and also vegetative propagation which is common in many plants and uh, also reproduction by spores so the next type we can say is okay except in binary fission uh, fission also takes place which is uh, found in plasmodium virus uh, many of you have studied that in 10th grade basically what happens one individual cell divides into many progenies and give rise to many progenies so the next type is budding budding what happens in this process a protrusion is created as you can see here this is the bud this is the bud you can see then the bud increases in size and it develops into a mature structure here and then the bud gets separated and give rise to a new individual so we can say budding is in this process a protrusion is created which further which grows matures and gives rise to and gives rise to new individual yeast cell Asexual reproduction are most common in unicellular organism as their structure are much more simpler than the multicellular organisms. Now the third type spores. Spores are protective structures protective structures formed in unfavorable conditions when conditions become better they give rise to new individuals or progenies
or progenies. For example, as you can see in the image, conidiospores are formed. This is the structure of conidia and penicillium. Conidiospores are formed in penicillium. And in uh, in all the fungi, conidiospore in all the fun fungi, spores are very common. Now, vegetative propagation. Third one. Sorry, the fourth one. Vegetative propagation. What is vegetative propagation? In different plants, the parts of the plants can be cut, separated and those when we, uh, when we use it uh, uh, to grow new individual plants. For example, eyes of potato. If you just cut the eyes of potato and plant it in soil, new potato tree new potato plants uh, sorry not trees the plants will grow same is applicable for sugar cane um, rose tree, rose plant etc now moving on to the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction so what are the basic differences okay let's discuss difference between asexual and sexual reproduction first point in case of asexual reproduction the process is much more simpler than sex sexual reproduction but firstly we can say in asexual reproduction single parent cell give rise to progeny one or more progenies whereas in sexual reproduction two gametes one male and one female two gametes are used to generate progenies so in simple words we can say in case of asexual reproduction gametes are not formed in case of sexual reproduction gametes are formed sexual asexual reproduction is common in unicellular organisms mostly plants whereas sexual reproduction is common in multicellular organisms during asexual reproduction genetic recombination do not occur that is mixing of the characters or mixing of the genetic characters do not occur in case of asexual reproduction sorry not asexual sexual reproduction in case of sexual reproduction genetic recombination occurs means the genetic characters are mixed in case of male and female gametes means once a new individual is formed from two gametes so both the maternal and the paternal characters are found in that daughter progeny
or you can say simply that uh, from both the gametes the characters are transferred to the progeny so sexual reproduction help uh, what to say it uh, help to create variation in a species which leads to um, leads to creation of a new species whereas asexual reproduction maintains all the characters of a species you can consider it add as fourth point so asexual reproduction one more point i can add that is asexual reproduction occurs in all cells of an individual whereas sexual reproduction involves only gametes gametes or it's better to say the sexu sexually related organs for example uh, uh, sexual reproduction only takes place in male and female reproductive organ 